Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. I'm Ashton from the Elite section, and here today we've got the build video for the F22 revision. So uh, let's get started. First we have, I'll just go over all the pieces we got. So this is uh, just the fuselage and belly pan piece. Uh, we went ahead and glued some of these things together already just because we got a little bit of a lack of time and because uh, it's exactly the same as all of the other recent plans we've done. So here we've got the fuselage belly, plan, belly pan and uh, we've got the main wing, the underwing piece and the rear section along with the two stabilizers. These pieces in here help to create an airfoil along the wing, and uh, that's included with the piece on the so back and these be. two that pop in. Next, we've got some extensions off the top wing. Here's our main top wings. These will line up to make something like that, and these will extend off of there. Next, we've got uh, the top fuselage piece. This just goes right on top. The canopy, which goes right on top of the, to the top fuselage. And the rear canopy, which extends off the back. So uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do before we get started is we're gonna wanna make sure everything's beveled and it doesn't come beveled, so we need to do either with a pin, we need to crease these and then fold them in, or with a razor, we need to actually cut an angle so that it's all beveled like this one. And it just creates a nice angle for all the pieces to fit together really nicely. So uh, we've got bevels. This just gets folded in with bevels. This gets creased up. This gets beveled along the top edge. And the rear needs to be beveled as well along the elevator. This piece is creased along both sides. The canopy is creased along all the edges. These don't have, or actually, yep, yeah, they have beveling along the, the leading edges. These are just creased along the lines. And each wing is beveled along the leading edge and along the aileron and creased to create that nice uh, airfoil that we like. So I think that's all for beveling. Now we can get started with the actual build. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our fused back and front sections to join with the fuselage and belly pan. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dry fit it so that we know that it fits nicely and that we can glue it like that because especially when you're gluing this fuselage piece, it's nice to dry fit the top with it so you know what angle this needs to be folded at. And what we were going for with this piece uh, specifically was a more bowed look. Uh, if we look at the real F22, it goes from the fuselage, it kind of goes down and in the old Raptor, we kind of did the same thing, just differently, but uh, we'll, we, we'll try to replicate that with the outside of the pan being shorter than the inside. So that it gives the same effect. If we look, if we look down the front, if it'll stay together. It has pretty close to the same uh, angle as the actual Raptor does. So once we've got it all dry fitted together, and this is fitting together pretty nicely, now that I've been playing with it for a little bit, we can take our glue, take it off, and then take our glue and the connection points are mainly going to be on the top here. 
and also just towards the rear where the motor is going to sit later. Also, we want to make sure that these are kind of glued because that's another place that the two pieces join together. It helps keep it all together if all of these pieces are glued. Now we can quickly replace the two pieces together. And once they're rejoined, we can press down and let the glue set for a little while. Make sure all of the individual holes are uh, with the tabs that are on the lower piece. Now we can actually flip it, press it down, and glue along the outside as well. Now that we have it glued, we can let it sit for a while and we'll be on to the next step. Hold on. Yes. All right, so the next step we're gonna take is we're gonna use our servos. We've just got uh, some standard, uh, I think they're, these are Gotex, but they're the normal Metal Gear servos that we use on pretty much all of our jets here at Mesa. So. Uh, with these, we're going to want to make sure that the uh, control horn faces down and through the wing, making sure the control horn is right centered in the gap. We'll do the same thing on this side. And now the wires need to go in, and uh, we'll see in a minute how the wings will actually let us, uh, the wings will fold over and then we'll have our uh, servo connections through the wing and we'll be able to access them for our receiver. So let's go ahead and glue these. I'll just make sure the control, uh, the, raw, uh, the control horn is centered right there. And then a little glue and press it down nice and tight. It's important that these don't come loose during flight. Do the same thing on the other side. Making sure it's centered in about the same place as the other side. So now we're gonna, uh, I just threw down some packaging tape right on the leading edge and same on the other side. And uh, what this is gonna do is it's gonna let us take our wing and line it up perfectly with this point right here. So once we have that taped on, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put glue not in the seam, but right behind it, just because if you put it in the seam, the tape might melt. And then we're gonna put glue on this support here right on the servo and on the back. Now I'm going to take this and maybe Mr. Marshall help yeah, me. Yeah, I'll help you. So uh, we're just going to fold it nicely. Okay. Try to get the tape to stick. Yep, gotcha. And it should line up perfectly with this shape here. That looks nice. I got you. Okay. Now we're just going to hold this until it dries, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So uh, one thing we have here is uh, this piece just likes to come up a little bit. Just put some glue down, and also a little bit more packaging tape to keep it held nice. So I'm just going to take our packaging tape, put it along there, and then fold it down.
That looks good. So we flattened down this back with more glue just to keep it from coming up. Make sure it's nice and flat and press tight. Other than that, I think we're good to go here on the wings. Cool. All right, so uh, the next thing we're gonna do after our wings ready is we're gonna take our extensions and glue them to the front. So uh, these should be, uh, they should just sit nice and flush with this edge. We just throw some glue on this edge and then line it up. Also, get my extension cord. Glue down here too helps keep it steadying down. Just line it up, uh, make it the same line as this, the rest of the wing. And it should match up pretty perfectly. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Glue here and glue here. Just press it down, make it flush with the inside line, and we're good to go. All right, so once we have the main frame pretty much assembled. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we've got our we've got our back canopy piece and what it does is we just bevel through here and then it just slides in like that. And that's all that piece does. This is just uh, gives it more of like a canopy shape. And then we have this next piece, bevel all of those and We'll go ahead and tape and glue this this in a little bit, but it just goes right there, and they should match up pretty closely with the back piece. And then after that, we'll have the canopy piece, and these are all beveled out with bevels on the sides and in here, and then that can fold together and get a canopy shape like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and construct these pieces and then we'll be back in a little bit. Get out of the way, Josh. Sorry, well, we, we got more time for that. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our elevator servo in. Uh, our push rods are really long, so I can really put it anywhere along here that I want. But uh, typically, if you have shorter push rods, uh, in here is good too, or anywhere along this edge. So, uh, first thing that we need to do is cut a hole in the shape of the servo. We can feed the wire through. And it fits nicely right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. I'm just gonna mark out where I want the, where I want the, uh, the control horn to be. The holes go over the crease and the seam. So right over where it should be bending to give us the full range of motion. We can Take it out, put some glue in there, some glue on the control horn, put it back in, make sure it fits nicely, 
And then we take our rod and we have these where it goes through the servo and then back into the control rod, control horn. Once we have it flushed up. In three, two, one. Your rod is recording. And tighten up our push rod with the screwdriver. Make sure it's flush again right there. Tighten it up. Make sure it's still flush, which it is. And now we can cut off the excess and also we can glue the top of it here so that it doesn't come out. So last week we're gonna cut off our excess just like that. And we can proceed to do the same things for our ailerons. Our final step to complete this Raptor is the stabilizers. So, as we can see on the real Raptor, they're at about this angle, and you can put them at whatever angle you like, but I'm gonna keep it pretty true to how the real Raptor is. So, they just go in here, and we'll just dry fit it first, but if they go in there, and there, and then we can check the angle, make sure you can get it just about right. Looks good, so I'll take it out again. Put some glue down right about there, and in the front, and in the back. Same on this side. And then, put them in. And we can bend them to the angle desired. Now we're gonna throw glue down on the inside. Make sure the angle's good again. Printers allowed. It's okay. Yeah. So now we can just take our canopy. You can glue it however you like to make the uh, shape true. And uh, set up all your electronics. You can see how I set up my electronics in the maiden video. And after that, we'll be good to go. Uh, I just want to thank you. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Sorry. And the plans on the Mesa RC Foam Fighter, Fighters website. I don't miss RC Foam Fighters anymore. Thanks for checking out another one of my builds. Uh, you can check out the plans at mesarc.club and also you can buy the kit at altitudeharbies.com. So uh, thanks again.